Well, I said I'd think of something to fix up chapter 4 of Jacob, but I can only find one decent drink, and at least it's early. So I guess only one drink in this uh, chapter. So, I guess I'll pour that drink. And there's my shot glass. Well, if I can only have one, what is that, like a quadruple? <laughs> I guess I'll just have to <clears throat> make this uh, drink last me. All right. <clears throat> Chapter four. Jacob. Now behold. It came to pass. A little bit later. That I, Jacob, having ministered much unto my people in word, and I cannot write but a little of my words, because of the difficulty of engraving our words upon plates. And we know that the things which we write upon plates must remain. But whosoever, wait, but whatsoever things we write upon anything, save it be upon plates, must perish and vanish away. But we can write a few words upon plates. Hopefully they won't repeat themselves too much. Huh? Oop, too late. But we can write a few words upon plates, which will give, which will give our children, and also our beloved brethren, a small degree of knowledge concerning us, or concerning their fathers. Now, in this thing we do rejoice, and we labor diligently to engrave in these words upon plates, hoping that our brethren beloved brethren, and our children will receive them with thankful hearts and look upon them that they may learn with joy and not with sorrow. Can't have it both ways. <laughs> Neither with contempt concerning their first parents. For Four. Yeah, another one of those double fours. Four, four, this intent. And it's also verse four of chapter four of Jacob. Must be a conspiracy. Four, four, this intent have we written these things that they may know that we knew of Christ. And we had a hope of his glory many hundred years before his coming. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Yes, it does. And not only we ourselves had a hope of his glory, but also all the holy prophets which were before us. Behold, they believed in Christ and worshipped the Father in His name. And also we worship the Father in His name. And for this intent, we keep the law of Moses, it pointing our souls to Him, unto us for righteousness even as it was accounted unto Abraham in the wilderness to be obedient unto the commandments of God. Kill that Isaac, punk ass.
Or was it Ishmael, whose track, who's telling the story? Uh, offering his son Isaac, which is a similitude of God and his only begotten son. Yeah, I've heard that before. Wherefore, we search the prophets, and we have many revelations and the spirit of prophecy. And having all these witnesses, we obtain a hope, and our faith becometh unshaken, insomuch that we truly can command in the name of Jesus, and the very trees obey us. Chop yourself down, tree. It did it. Yeah, the trees obey you. Uh -huh. Or the mountains or the waves of the sea, they all obey you. <laughs> You're the boss. Just use JC's name. Nevertheless, the Lord God showeth us that our weakness, uh, showeth us our weakness that we may know that it is by His grace that His great condescension unto His children of men, uh, and His great condescension uh, unto the children of men, that we have power to do these things. Behold, great and marvelous are the works of the Lord. How unsearchable are the depths of the mysteries of Him, and it is impossible that man should find out all His ways, save it be revealed unto Him. Wherefore, brethren, despise not the revelations of God, for behold, by the power of His word men came upon the face of the earth which earth was created by the power of his word. Wherefore, if God be able to speak, and the world was, and to speak, and man was created, oh, then, why not able to command the earth or the workmanship of his hands upon the face of it, according to his will and pleasure? Wherefore, brethren, seek not to counsel the Lord, but don't hide your good counsel. I think they said that earlier on, um, Jacob's. Um, do not take counsel from, wait, seek not to counsel the Lord, but to take counsel from his hands. For behold, ye yourselves know that ye come counseleth in wisdom and in justice and in great mercy over all his works. Wherefore, beloved brethren, be reconciled to him through the atonement of Christ, which won't happen for a long time. His only begotten Son, and ye may obtain a resurrection according to the power of the resurrection which is in Christ. The guy hasn't been born yet, so he hasn't died yet or resurrected. But they're pretending he already has. And be presented as the first fruits of Christ unto God, having faith and obtain a good hope of glory in him before he manifested himself in the flesh. It's like he's already dead and alive again. He hasn't even been alive yet. And now, beloved, marvel not that I tell you these things. For why not speak of the atonement of Christ and attain to a perfect knowledge of Him as to attain a knowledge of a resurrection and the world to come. experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the deepest inner mind to the outer limits. Behold, my brethren, he that prophesieth 
let him prophesy to the understanding of men. For the Spirit speaketh the truth and lieth not, unless God sends a lying spirit to you like he did with uh, Ahab. <laughs> Wherefore, it speaketh of things as they really are. <laughs> and of things as they really will be. Wherefore, these things are manifested unto us plainly. For the salvation of our souls. But behold, we are not witnesses alone to these things. For God also spake them unto the prophets of old. But the reception wasn't as good, apparently, because they didn't get as many dead-on details. But behold, the Jews were a stiff-necked people. And they despised the words of and killed the prophets and sought for things that they could not understand. Wherefore, because of their blindness, which blindness can be by looking beyond the mark. Yeah, don't try too hard. You'll just fail. I lost my place, sorry. The blindness, which can be, uh, can be by looking beyond the mark, they must needs fall. For God hath taken away his blindness from them, and delivered unto them many things which they cannot understand, because they desired it. You can't have it then. God hath done it that they may stumble. Now I, Jacob, am led by the Spirit in unto prophesying, for I perceive by the working of the Spirit which is in me, that by the stumbling of the Jews they will reject the stone upon which they might build and have safe foundation. But behold, according to the Scriptures, this stone shall become the great and the last and the only sure foundation upon which the Jews can build. Outer limits. His initials are JC. The Mormon Jesus. And now, my beloved, now, how is it possible that these, after having rejected the sure foundation, can ever build upon it, that they become the head of their corner? That's a great question. It just doesn't make any sense. Behold, my beloved brethren, I will unfold this mystery unto you. For I do for if, if I do not by any means get shaken from my firmness in the spirit and stumble because of my over anxiety to you. And here we go into chapter five where he talks about olive trees vineyards, a bunch of blah, 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 blah nonsense. But it's a long chapter, and I've got a few ideas about how I might tackle that. I'm taking a little trip out of town tomorrow, so maybe I'll do it with an interesting location, but, uh, probably in a couple of parts. 30 drinks in one long-ass boring chapter which I'm going to have to liven up, so I may I may actually break this chapter into two parts. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how long a video I could make, and I don't know how long a video I could make that anyone would watch. So, stay tuned. Chapter 5 is going to be Titanic. I hope you're going to go down with me. I mean, <laughs> I hope you're going to join me. And uh, nothing too heavy. We're talking 30 drinks. I probably won't do it all in one sitting. Because I'll be visiting my mom. Take care of, taking care of the honeydew list and all that. 
Anyway. Peace the fuck out. And have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is.